This is the Telecomics tutorial for Mac OS X and how to install I2P. Now, first you go to the i2p2.de site and uh, this is where you download the software. Uh, it runs on Java, so make sure that Java is installed on your Macintosh system. Um, and you simply download the file. Then you switch to a terminal and you go to the directory of your downloads uh, and you run the sudo java.jar and then the installer file in the terminal like this. Make sure that you are super user uh, since this is required by the software. Now running this command will start up a graphical installer and basically you can just click next on the presets that are coming up to you and now this the ITP software is installed on your system to boot up the ITP router you should also use this do, do it in the terminal so you go to the directory in applications and there is the ITP software um, and here are the files. To boot it up, you also have to be super user. So you go sudo sh uh, and then i2p router start. Um, and now the i2p software is running on your system. Uh, you can also check this uh, for, uh, for safety. So after you start it up, you can check the status of the ITP router by going using the status command. Now, when it's running on your system, you can go to the settings page, which is on localhost port 7657. Uh, and here you can check that the system is running. Uh, once it's running, you can uh, use the I2P darknet via a proxy. What you do is you use the Firefox browser and you install a small plugin called Foxy Proxy. And in this Foxy Proxy plugin, you can add I2P as a proxy server. So in the proxy details, it runs on localhost and port 4444. And once you have added uh, this proxy, you can very easily shift down here in the Firefox browser to your I2P uh, proxy. And once you're on the proxy, you are able to browse the darknet. Now, to chat anonymously using the IRC protocol with the Telecomics crew, uh, you need to make a few modifications to uh, the software. You go to the werebuild.eu wiki and you look up the I2P address for our IRC server. And this is a very long URL. And you copy it, make sure you get all the, uh, all the digits and all the letters uh, in this long address. Then you go to the router console and you click on local destinations and here you already have a default IRC proxy uh, which is going to the default IRC servers. Now this is something you need to change to come to the telecomic service. Uh, so what you do is you paste this long address in the tunnel destination. Uh, so you modify the default uh, proxy and then you make sure you re restart this tunnel uh, and then you are able uh, to connect to our IRC services. So bringing up a standard IRC client, uh, for example, in this case we use IRC, uh, you can connect now to your local host, which is on your computer, which has made a bridge to our IRC server. It's on port 6668 uh, and this may take some time in the beginning because your I2P uh, network has to be integrated with peers. Then you can join our uh, main channel called Telecom Paquetet 
and now you are chatting anonymously with us. Also, to find out more, go to telecomics.org, which is our news agency, or you can go to our wiki, it's on werebuild.eu, and also we collect these tutorials on instruction.telecomics.org.